Behind me is the rice harvester from Japan, the most powerful one I've ever seen. So just how powerful is this rice harvester? Let's take a closer look. First, let's examine the rice harvesting process. Even with this challenging and critical rice crop, the harvester maintains its speed without slowing down. The speed is relatively fast. I'm not sure if you can feel it, but I suspect it has something to do with the driver. The driver is a young man. I've shot a lot of footage, and eventually I found some young people growing rice. Everyone agrees that this machine handles the rice harvesting process very skillfully. Let's look at how it handles straw. The efficiency is high. I've seen this in Japan, the most powerful rice harvester I've ever encountered. It's also the best harvester I've seen to date. When the straw is ejected, it flies out quite far. This intensity can feel quite powerful. Look at the parking area. What do you think of this harvester? To summarize, this is a branded harvester labeled Japan 6123. So what does 6123 mean? It means this harvester can harvest six rows of rice at the same time, and its maximum horsepower can reach 123 horsepower. The highest horsepower I've seen before was 75 horsepower, which comes from Kubota. I'm in Niigata Prefecture, Japan. How about the rice grown here? They also have Moonlight Rice, which is one of the best in Japan and is relatively highly ranked globally. You can go and see for yourself. Many friends have asked me before whether Japan grows hybrid rice. Regarding this issue, I checked Japanese websites, which say that Japan does have hybrid rice, but it is only used for research purposes and not grown commercially. Let's continue to explore this rice harvester. The cab is completely sealed. The cab is basically surrounded by glass, providing a wide field of view. Look at the amount of rice he has harvested. Notice how low he cuts. Almost all the platycodon is used and can be crushed. Nowadays, in many places in our country, platycodon is also broken into pieces. Why is platycodon crushed? You can turn it into soil, then let these platycodon pieces decompose in the ground. I will turn it over two or three times next spring. This can be turned into organic fertilizer, saving farmers money on fertilizers and being environmentally friendly. Japan doesn't just return platycodon to the fields, I will return the straw to the fields. This harvester is heading towards us. Let's look at its headlights. Why mention these headlights? Because some farmers may harvest at night and the headlights can help repel insects. It does not collect insects. Another point you may not have noticed is that all these harvesters are covered. I've seen some harvesters online, but they don't all have covers. I don't know if it's intentionally removed or why. If exposed to wind, sun, and rain, it can easily rust. If it rusts, the machine is prone to breakdowns with relatively high maintenance costs. You should pay attention to this harvester. All parts are covered. Some friends might say that if everything is covered, it might be very inconvenient to repair or clean. I don't know much about domestic machinery, but what about this machine in Japan? According to the introduction I read, it has many parts that can be easily removed. It's said that you only need a small tool to disassemble it for maintenance or cleaning. Let's look at the straw it has crushed in the harvesting situation. How do you feel? This harvester runs for a long time. He just filled this grain bin. Where is he now? The rice is about to be transferred to this truck. Let's see what makes this harvester different. What's special about this cannon? Please take a look soon. Now he's about to let it go. Let's look at the front of this cannon. Everyone, pay attention. This is the most special thing I've seen so far. Everyone can see that he has reversed the direction. This truck is carrying rice. This is also the largest truck I've ever seen and it's driven by a female driver. The capacity of this harvester is also very large. It can be filled in one go into a truck's iron frame. The truck must be full now. Let's look at this driver. I don't know if you can see clearly, but he is looking in both directions. One direction is towards the truck. Mr. Kai, you are the taxi driver. There is a screen on top of his taxi. This screen is especially important. We'll talk about why this screen is important later. Let's examine this rice harvester in more detail. Do you think there are other places where it differs from our domestic machines? The rice fields are now harvested. He will be coming soon. The neighboring rice fields are being harvested. Let's watch his performance going uphill. 
Everyone pay attention, he's about to go uphill. What I want everyone to see is that he can lift the harvester's front very high. If the front is high, he can go up or down steeper slopes. Let's look at his appearance once more. On sight, I saw a very steep slope. You can also see that he is driving very slowly. It seems I wouldn't dare to do that. The explanation still seems a bit steep. Let's see. Now it seems to be going down. He has lowered the harvester's front. Therefore, what is strong about this machine? It's this system. Let's see, there's a moisture meter and a weight scale on the top left corner. Where are these two meters? They are for measuring the moisture of the rice during harvesting and the yield of the rice. What about the information he receives? It can be transferred to your computer via Bluetooth or uploaded to your mobile phone. Another point is that it can measure anytime and anywhere. In this case, you can use this data to arrange your next tasks, such as drying. Another point is that you can see the output of each area after harvesting. Then when calculating payments, you can base it on this data. How much yield do you have in each field? Then you can calculate how much money you can earn. At the same time, you can also obtain this data for comparison. By doing so, you can identify many issues and make improvements. After analyzing the yield of each rice field, you can easily plan your fertilizer application for next year and your planting schedule. This harvester can also be perfectly integrated with rice transplanters because some rice transplanters in Japan can plant and fertilize rice simultaneously. When you plan to fertilize, you can save labor costs and reduce work expenses.